Cleveland, Ohio. If you can steer your way past the inferno that is the Indians' bullpen for a moment, it's time for MLB's draft. It starts at 7 p.m. Monday on MLB Network and the Indians are going to be busy. They'll make four choices tonight with the 29th, 35th, 41st and 67th picks. They'll pick 29th in the first round after winning 102 games in the regular season last year. The 35th pick comes their way as compensation for losing free agent Carlos Santana to the Phillies after last year. They received the 41st pick from the competitive balance round A and the 67th pick is their second round choice. Last year the Indians did not have a first round pick. They lost it as compensation for signing free agent Edwin Encarnacion to a three-year $60 million deal. They had two selections in the second round and drafted high school outfielder Quentin Holmes and high school shortstop Tyler Freeman. Holmes received a $988,870 signing bonus. The Indians signed Freeman for $816,500. Holmes and Freeman started this season in extended spring training. This will be the first draft orchestrated by Scott Barnsby, who replaced Brad Grant as director of amateur scouting in the offseason. Grant held the position for 10 years and helped revitalize the farm system. Barnsby, in his 19th year with the Indians, served as Grant, assistant scouting director for the last three years. You guys know how we operate, said Barnsby, when asked if he was feeling pressure in his new position. 1. I'm fortunate to be with the organization for a long time. The same group of people are in place starting with Chris Antonetti, President of Baseball Operations, Mike Kernoff, General Manager, Matt Foreman, Assistant General Manager, and Carter Hawkins, Assistant General Manager. The support system is really helpful. Brad, who did a great job for 10 years, the longest tenured scouting direction in the history of the Indians, hasn't gone very far. He's still sitting right there. He's still in our meetings. For me it always has been about making sure we lead a really effective scouting process and make sure that there's nothing overlooked with the players and that we make a decision as a group. Barnsby said there is a challenge picking 29th in the first round, but there is also excitement because the Indians have four picks in the first two rounds after not having a first round pick last year. This draft isn't different in terms of preparation, but it's different because it's more exciting to think about how many picks we have 29, 35, 41, 67. As for the challenge of picking so low in the first round, Barnsby said, it's a good thing. It means our major league team is doing well, but it's so unpredictable just to know who is going to be there at 29. There are so many variables that it is challenging so we prepare the best we can. The draft is fluid and that's why we're hoping we're so prepared that as we get closer to 29 we'll have a pretty good idea who we're getting and hopefully make a real good decision on draft day. The first five picks in the draft belong to Detroit, San Francisco, Philadelphia, the White Sox and Cincinnati. The Tigers and Giants had the same record last season, 64-98, but the Tigers will draft first because they had the lower winning percentage in 2016. Auburn is projected no. One pick Casey Ma is not focused on 2018 MLB Draft Detroit, according to MLB.com, is considering three players for the first pick college right-handers Casey Mize from Auburn or Florida's Brady Singer. George Tech catcher Joey Bart is also reportedly on their short list. Over the last seven years, the Indians have had seven first-round picks, including two in 2014. They've taken high school players with five of those picks including Francisco Lindor in 2011, Clint Frazier in 2013, Justice Sheffield in 2014, Brady Aiken in 2015 and Will Benson in 2016. Barnsby says the 2018 draft is deep in college and high school talent. The way we are set up is to be successful no matter if we draft a college or high school player, he said. Whoever ends up being there, as long as we know everything about them, and can help develop them, that's all that matters. We're not really focused on one or the other right now. 
the Indians have a signing bonus pool of $9,145,200,000,000. That's what they have to spend on the first 10 rounds of the draft. If they exceed that, they can be penalized. Here are the slot prices for their first four picks, 29th $2,332,700, 35th $2,016,400, 41st $1,744,800, and 67th $939,700. Teams can pay the players taken in the first 10 rounds above or below their slot value as long as the total doesn't exceed their bonus pool. The draft lasts 40 rounds. Any players drafted after the 10th round who are signed for more than $125,000 will count against that team's bonus pool. The Royals, Rays and Tigers have the largest bonus pools at $12,781,900, $12,416,600 and $12,414,800, respectively.